Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans, and welcome to this binge review. For this review, it's the 2022 Chinese fantasy animation New God Young Jian. What's this movie about? The once powerful god Young Jen has been relegated to a bounty hunter after an incident 13 years prior where he imprisoned his sister under a mountain and subsequently lost the power in his third eye. A mysterious woman approaches him with a job. She needs to find and capture a young thief who has stolen a valuable heirloom from her. But as Young Jen investigates who this thief is, he realizes they are blood related and there is more going on than just the return of a simple heirloom. Is this movie worth watching? Light Chaser Animation knocked it out of the park with their previous film in the New God series, a steampunk reimagining of a teenage in a jar. This time they've taken the god Erlang Shen, or Young Jen, and thrown him into a whole new scenario that takes many references from the original story. Light Chaser have struck movie gold with this whole reimagining of the Fen Chen characters. Between this film, Najari Born, and Green Snake, they've shown that these tales don't need to be held back by their classic writings and can be made more sexy for a new youthful audience. However, as is the downfall of all Light Chaser films, the visual presentation isn't quite there yet. The 2022 film I Am What I Am, a Chinese animation about a young boy who loves lion dancing, is the gold standard for Chinese animation films, and this movie is probably sitting in the bronze section. That's not saying it's bad. Far from it. It's colourful, well animated and has a myriad of visual effects going on at any one time, especially at the ending with the huge spirit battles. But the characters look plasticky, and the human characters all share very similar features. Lucky for this film, there are lots of creatures and animals, and their variety is fantastic. However, coupled with an overlong story, breaching the two hour mark, and an ending that seems to drag on for too long, the pizzazz of the previous film just isn't there. But all the characters have great personality, and there are some genuine moments of humour throughout the story. And there's also a very long list of cameo appearances from other Feng Shen gods. Overall, I'd give this movie three and a half stars. It's a visual mixed bag, effects and animation are great, but the human models don't look quite right. With an interesting story that's just a fraction too long, but with plenty of action to keep you enthralled. Thank you for watching this binge review. Check out more by following the links on the screen.